this video we learned about asynchronous actions with thunk in this video we are going to talk about the redux logger okay so if you you can see that we have been getting these uh, information which is not very pretty in looking and it looks a little bit difficult to read it's not very readable so we have the uh, redux logger uh, library that's available which helps us get details like this okay so you get previous state you get action you get next state like this and as you can see it's colored and decorated so it's easier to read so redux logger displays the previous state next state and action in the console log every time an action is fired uh, you can install it using npm install redux logger so you can go on to your project and you can say npm install redux logger I already got ins got it installed so you know I'm not installing it once it's installed guys what you need to do is basically import it say import logger from uh, redux logger and since it's a middleware all you have to do is you already have the middleware here you have the thunk middleware just do a comma and just pass this so this is the best way guys your create store whenever you're creating a store as we have just discussed uh, that it takes three parameters one is reducer second is preloaded state and third is enhancer which is basically you can pass middleware so the, we have third parameter is middleware you can create middlewares like apply middleware using apply middleware function and then you can pass all of your middlewares here so if you have more middle middleware you can pass it over here itself so it keeps things clean okay great so let's see what happens so once we've added that refresh and you can now see that you are getting all of these message well decorated because of this logger okay uh, let's go ahead and put the correct API so we can see some data posts let's check so you can see now we have got all of the information in fact we can go ahead and get rid of this console one okay you can see that now we're getting all of this information so you have action loading action loaded right so these are the two actions that are being dispatched first is loading and second is loaded because we don't have any errors the third one is not being executed so it's it's so simple because I can I can just minimize this also you know so now I can just focus on one part rather than going on different ones because I have this loading I know that this this is the action type I need to look on to so I can just click on this and then I have all the information here so I have error loaded loading posts all of that information as a previous state I have the next state uh, and then I also have the type loading so if you take example of the second one which is this type loaded that's when we receive the data so you can see when it's loaded in the previous state we had loaded as false and loading is true because it was loading and in the next state it, we should get loading false because it's already loaded and we've got the post inside of it okay and then in the action type loaded and in payload we also have all of the posts available because that's what we receive over here okay so it's so simple guys okay so brilliant so i hope you understand what these redux logger are in the next video we are going to discuss more more about reducers okay see you then bye bye